Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I'm here to work on my latest journal. It is for Victoria, and it's French-inspired. She wanted um, kind of a French theme, blues, purples, um, hyacinths, which are tricky to find. I did find a few, so um, yeah, I'll be using like these type of things. But we're just going to kind of flip through these pages just to get an idea, and this won't be all the pages in this uh, signature, it's just sort of a start. So a uh, doily that will be a pocket right here. And then this is one of Gail Agostinelli's um, French ephemera letter things. And I just folded it so that it kind of looked like it had been, you know, previously folded and inked it and um, did some stenciling on it. And then we're mostly going to be using pretty much entirely Medieval Mirage. And I'm using quite a few of her kits because there's... Um, stuff from all different kits that I like. This is Feminine Finesse right here. And then on this side, I believe this is Eclectic Essentials. And I have some of the um, cabbage dye paper from Jamie. And then this, or was that Jamie? If I get it wrong, guys, just let me know. I'm just having trouble remembering where I got everything. This is Grammy's Keepsakes, and then I'm also using Sweet Serenity. This is um, Medieval Fragments, uh, Sweet Serenity. This is Eclectic Essentials, or no, Eclectic Essence, that's what it's called. This is actually a page from Denise at one of our crafts. I just kind of went through my stuff and tried to figure out, you know, like some stuff I already had printed and if I thought it went well, I used it. Uh, Sweet Serenity, that's also Sweet Serenity, and Gail's um, French, like, ledger or whatever. This is um, Eclectic Essence, so is this, but I'm also using her Baroque Beauties um, Volume 1 and 2 add-on kits, and so that's where I'm going to be getting a lot of these ladies like this. So, um, yeah, it's just kind of a whole menagerie of stuff, but that's kind of the beginning. Like, this is Medieval Fragments. Um, these images are from Baroque Beauties. This is Baroque Beauties. So that's just kind of an overview of what we're going to be working with. I have lots of laces and things. A lot of these are from Eva. Thank you. Thank you to everybody who's given me things. Um, I apologize if I don't remember all the names, because sometimes it just gets jumbled in my head. So um, this was a piece, it was a really old envelope, and I've talked about these before, but if you're new, um, I have some like over 100 year old envelopes for uh, vintage Valentines, and this one was really long and skinny, so I folded up the bottom to make a pocket right here. I didn't have any Valentines that fit into these envelopes anymore, so I decided that um, I might use a couple of them just to you know, because they're really, they are really cool, but I did have to, like, go around the edges with paper to kind of protect them, because it, um, when I folded it down here, I put this piece of tape on because it cracked. It's just, obviously, very old paper, so, um, you know, it just cracks very easily. So, I just have one of the tags from Medieval Mirage, and that's the Broke Beauties, and so are these ladies. And then inside, there is another card, and I have a book, or had a book, called Paris that I altered. Um, it was my first altered book, and it kind of got messed up. I still have it. It's up on my shelf, but um, I took these pages out, and they're all old drawings of places in um, Paris. So this is the Huguenot Church, uh, Rue, Rue de Violi. I don't know. <laughs> I don't speak French, so I have no idea. But anyway, I'll be using some of those throughout the book as well, or journal. And then this is one of Joff's um, Broke Beauties and just a little piece of blue lace there. Oops, this one goes up here. So this will be um, glued down to a page, and then it'll just be this little pocket like that and you could even do this type of thing to hold the flap down. And then I also have this piece, this is from Joff's uh, Broke Beauties, and it is. it looks like this already. So it already has the fold lines in it, which is really cool, and then it also has these little cut spots. So I just cut it out just the way she had it, folded it up. I did ink more on there, and then I also inked and stamped 
the back just for some, you know, something on there, but you can easily write on there. So that's just a fun little, um, like, folded note type thing to go in a pocket, which I don't have done yet, but that's as far as I've gotten on that part of it, because I've been working on the pages and all that type of thing. Oh, and there are there is music paper in there as well, because she likes music paper, and I, I'll probably be adding more, but like, see this back of this frame has the music paper. So, I hope that is what you're looking for, Victoria. Just let me know um, what you're thinking, if it's different or whatever, because, um, I can change things right now, but if we get too far into it, I'm not going to be able to change a whole lot. It's always hard to know exactly what people, you know, are thinking. So um, I hope that that's, I'm going in the right direction. So just let me know. And don't be shy, like don't feel like you can't say what you think, because, um, you know, I don't have a problem with that. I'd rather you get what you want. So definitely let me know. So I hope you guys are all having an awesome day. It's pretty nice here. The birds are chirping away and the sun's shining. It's a little cool, but you know, it's good. It's like 40 something right now, 40 degrees roughly. So, but it's been getting up well into the 60s. I think it even got up to 70 yesterday at some point. I don't know, I didn't really pay attention, but we were sitting outside on our porch for quite a while yesterday evening enjoying it. It just does not want to fold right for some reason. I did something weird. Um, yeah, so I was sitting out there thinking, because even still, even with all this stuff going on, we don't see a whole lot of kids outside. I don't know that there are just tons of kids in our neighborhood anyway. It's always sort of been, um, older people and stuff, so, but I was just thinking about stuff that we used to do when we were kids, and I was thinking about... There were these little weeds, and I have no idea what they're called because they literally are just weeds. And they grow really close to the ground, so if somebody knows what they are. And um, they had little tiny purple flowers on them. And we used to pull off little bits of them. They had like a, like it looked like where the flower had bloomed once and then um, was done blooming, like a stalk kind of like that. And then a little pokey part that came out of the middle. This, you know, is really technical, right? But um, anyway, we would like stick our fingernail in the top of one and put another one through it to make like little scissors. <laughs> they looked like little scissors when you did that. So I was just, I don't know what they were called. I wanted to see if anybody knew, but I was just thinking about all those things we used to do when we were kids. Cause you know, we just kind of got kicked out of the house. Like go, go outside and play, you know? And, um, oh, I don't have my ink. Hold on just a minute. Okay, hi, I'm back, sorry. <laughs> I had left this downstairs, so. Um, and I can, obviously can't live without it. So anyway, we would make those like little scissors. And then we also did the thing where you drag the magnet through the dirt to pick up, you know, all the little iron, or whatever it is, I don't even remember, but that was another fun thing. And we played cops and robbers all the time on our bikes. <laughs> I don't know. I just think it's funny now because kids just don't ever really do anything outside. And I know it's the whole video game thing. But we were just sitting out there last night thinking about all that. Because, you know, even, even with all this going on, you'd think there'd be kids out at least riding their bikes and stuff like that just to have something to do. But we did have somebody go through our neighborhood um, honking their horns and stuff. And I guess that's how a lot of people are celebrating birthdays because, like, everybody can't get together, especially for kids and stuff, um, birthdays. And so they'll, like, come drive by the kid's house honking and waving. They had flags last night, but, you know, balloons or whatever, little signs and stuff. So that's cute. But... Those are just, you know, some of the crazy thoughts that I got thinking while sitting out there. Um, so I thought I cut this little center section out. I can't decide which way this goes. I think it goes this way. Um, this is supposed to go along the edge of a page. So like, I'm going to take a page out. We'll just go ahead and use it. And this is tea dyed paper. So it's supposed to go, you know, along the edge of the page like that. 
I cut out that little center oval because I thought it would be neat to put lace behind it, just for something different. Um, because it was kind of a, it had a little uh, like checkerboard design in there, but I just um, thought it would be neat to have, it would add a little lace to the journal. So anyway, that's my plan. I'm going to use some tacky glue and I only need a little bit of lace. I don't need a ton. And I probably will cut it as much as possible because I don't want um, too much that'll catch, you know what I'm, I mean? So I think I'm probably going to go ahead and cut off this whole part. I just like that larger flower to be seen. I probably should have cut a little further down below it, but that's okay. So I think what I'll do is put the glue around the frame on the inside and then just set it where I want it on top of the lace. I'm going to move my little flap here so that I don't glue it down or something ridiculously smart like that. So yeah, if you guys can think of any fun things that you did outside, if you want to comment on that. I just <laughs> I thought it was kind of funny to sit there and think about all the stuff we did when we were kids it was just very different than now. I've been kind of doing that a lot lately. I don't know if it's just the sitting around at home or what. I mean, I do that all the time anyway, but maybe it's better if I do it at the top. But yeah, those little weeds, I don't know what got me thinking of that. There's just something about being out there and the birds and all that last night made me think of that. So now I'm going to come here and try to pull it kind of taut just so that it's not got like weird gaps and stuff. And then I think I'm going to just cut off any of this extra Type stuff and these are just little embroidery scissors and I've talked about them before they're great <laughs> because they make fussy cutting much easier and also like just any little thing where you got to get in close works great with these so that piece is pretty glued down I just don't want it to get caught on whatever goes in and out of this pocket I need a little more glue right there actually going to take this little piece of lace and sort of put it right here because it barely met the edge and I just want to make sure that that doesn't you know go falling off and there's a hole or a gap there I think that'll work pretty good my son's down in the kitchen cooking something don't know what And our dishwasher's broken, so the guy came yesterday and looked at it and had to order a part. So we are out a dishwasher until that gets fixed. So that's fun. I'm going to let this dry, and I'm going to do this one that way as well, because I just want to make sure that's... I don't want to mess with it until it's all the way dry. We're going to ink around this. And I did the same thing with this. It had sort of a plain center because she has all kinds of... Um, let's see if I can find them. I cut up all kinds of ephemera. And of course I don't see them now. But they're just circles with like ladies' images in them to put in those spots. But I decided on this one I wanted to do the lace thing, so... They're like the one that's on this. Sort of like this. They have plain ones too, so anyway, those are to go in these circles, but I just want to do it like this. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, that's my phone going crazy. 
It always does that when I'm doing videos. It like doesn't hardly do it any other time. <laughs> oh, you sent me something. Okay. <laughs> it's my daughter. <laughs> She's been sending me all kinds of funny things she finds on Instagram and stuff. Anything funny is great right about now. So I think I'll choose a different lace. I don't want to have them all the same. Eva sent me some beautiful lace. And I also have this. Well, this one's Eva. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it justice, though. So I think I'll hold off on that one and use it for something else. I have this. Might work. This is off of a little girl's dress that I got at the thrift store, <laughs> which is a great way to get lace. It's It can be kind of expensive. I mean, rightly so. Look at it, but I'm just saying. It's nice if you can find something. And the dress wasn't in great shape, so I don't know that many people would have wanted it as a dress anyway. But that's some nice lace. So I'm going to glue that there, and I'll trim it the same way I did the other one. And I don't know, I'm sure there's people that have done stuff like this. I don't know. I just thought of it last night. So I hope you're all faring well and that your families are healthy and safe. And I am so sorry if you have either lost a loved one or you have somebody who's sick with this stuff. But it seems like maybe things are getting a little better. I don't know kind of hard to tell right now. Hopefully. I just worry when we all go back to semi-normal. I mean, it's never really going to probably be normal, but if we'll have another outbreak of it. It's hard to say. I know the kids aren't going back to school this year. They're doing online. Stuff. Well, at least in the state I'm in, in Idaho, but I don't know about other states. I think that one's glued down pretty well. I'm just going to put a little glue around the edge again and kind of flatten it out just to make sure it's staying down and not catching the... I'm going to put this envelope. Um, this is in Joff's kit bro beauties and they um come you know like this and then you just cut them out and fold them up so those are really pretty and i have the volume one and two like i said add-ons for that i didn't get the rest of the um kit because it was traveler's notebook size pages and so i just didn't i didn't want traveler's notebook size but all the other stuff is beautiful. And it goes, all her kits kind of work together, which is really nice. I mean, you can usually find, you know, at least one or two things that'll go with whichever kit you're working with at the moment. So that is helpful. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this one onto this page. And then I may also um, like put a piece of lace along here to hang off. And I'll stitch that on, but for now I'm just going to put this on the page. And I haven't decided what I'm going to put in this particular pocket, but I've got all kinds of ephemera that goes with these eh kits. They're so pretty. Hard to tell if you're looking at the other page or the page that you're gluing it onto <laughs> when you have it folded in half. All right, so that 
is that one. And let's see if we could, if we can make a journaling card or something to go in there. It'd be fun to do something with a hyacinth. This one's a grape hyacinth, so this was sort of a cheat on my part, but like I said, they're trickier to find than I would have thought. I would have thought, you know, find them fairly easily. I went into Biodiversity Heritage Library and everything and just didn't find a whole lot. And New York Public Library. Here's one of those circles I was talking about. <laughs> but yeah, I just didn't find much of anything. I think I'll just make something because I like that one, but I want a different background, I think. So I'll just use one of these. What size will fit in there? Oh, that fits. I'm just going to tear the edges just because I like the torn edge look. And I probably won't change that envelope a whole lot because I like the image on the front and everything. I don't want to cover it up, so. I know this one's ripped already, but I just want to kind of, actually that one's pretty good. Okay, it's glued pretty well. Let's see, I've got pieces of it's going to go this direction so I want to keep it going this direction this is like a piece of French ledger and I got this one off of the graphics fairy premium website Where did I put my... and this one I had torn already but And also, um, Joff's Medieval Missives has this image in it, too. It's in my buttons kit, too, but it's um, on a piece of transparency paper, so it looks a little bit different. I put new ink in my stamp pad and it's really dark now. I'll go there and a piece of music maybe. This isn't very exciting music but I think I'll use I'm going to use this side just because um, you won't be able to see the treble clef there. chunk gone. That one even has a cool crease in it. Yeah, I even looked on Etsy and nobody really has like hyacinth paper or anything, which was surprising. Or at least I didn't find, I mean I did find like some sets that had all different bulbs and, you know, like on little cards and things like that, but that's about it. What else can I put on there? Use one of these like down at the bottom. These are Tracy Fox. Her word labels, random word labels. 
kind of liking these neutral colors with this stuff. I think what got me thinking about that, um, what we did when we were kids, is um, Allie the Cockney Crafter. Hi Allie! Uh, did a video about dolly pegs. And we didn't call them dolly pegs, they're just clothespins. But, you know, you make dolls or whatever out of the clothespins. And, um, oh my goodness, I can't get these off of here once they're that little. But that's what got me thinking about it, was those kind of things that you do when you're a kid. When I was in fourth grade, our teacher taught us how to make um, puppets using styrofoam balls and paper mache and so you poke a hole in the styrofoam ball on the bottom to put your finger in <clears throat> and then use other pieces of styrofoam cut up and like paper mache to you know hook it all together and then paint them once they're all dry and that was another thing that we loved because we would make clothes for them and all kinds of stuff I think I'm going to use some of this paper, and again, sorry, I don't remember, this is that same paper that I was using to do the Easter um, envelope pocket, and I don't remember where I got it, and I went and looked again yesterday, just trying to figure it out, and I don't know, but the, I, while I was looking on there, there's lots of different um, floral, you know, like shabby papers that would probably work the same. I just don't know where I got this specific one. But I discovered that these go pretty good with this too, so I wanted to use it. And then we can put, I don't know which hyacinth on there. That one's pretty light. Maybe this one or maybe this one. I could do it like that. Yeah, I kind of like that. I think that's what I'll do. That's it. Okay, I need my glue book. Or glue pages. These are ones that got torn out for the altered books. And that just lifted right up. Think. It lifted right up when I didn't want it to, but now I can't get it to. Okay. So let's put this one on first. paper. So yeah, Victoria, just let me know whether this is what you are liking or there was something else you needed or wanted. First, I think I need to ink that, which that ought to be interesting. Let's go ahead and pull this one and then I can kind of set it here and at least ink it that way a little. The paper, luckily, is um, I printed it on the parchment paper, so it does have a little bit of color to it instead of just stark white, but. these out last night while we watched Star Wars, the newest one. We've seen it, but 
it's like that. Trying to all hang out together a little. It's a pretty good movie if you haven't seen it. You'd, you'd have to watch all of them though to know what in the world is going on. And likely if you're already a fan then you've already seen it. <laughs> I remember when that came out, I was like, I don't even know how old I was, a little kid. And we were so excited to go see that movie. And we just thought it was the best. And I remember my favorite one being the one with the Ewoks. And I don't remember the names. I'm horrible about that kind of thing. But um, yeah, those were, that was my favorite one when I was a kid. I wasn't that crazy about the ones that came out in the 90s. But I do like some of the new ones. It wasn't that crazy about the last one, but this one before it and this one were pretty good. All right, I've never seen these kind of hyacinths. They're really pretty. I've seen a lot of images of them um, while looking, but I've never seen them in real life. They're pretty cool looking. If this one my printer messed up over here, so I've just been using pieces of this. But this is how that folded up paper comes, like the one I showed you. But it it's great for like backing these. I still haven't been able to get a hold of Epson know what to do about it. And my son looked at it. He can't figure out how to take the heads out. So <laughs> I need to watch like a video on that or something. I just get doing other things. That's like my last eh, until I go to use it. And then I'm like, oh, I need to, <laughs> I need to do something with this. And it will work sometimes, so then you, you know, this, that, oh, it's working. <laughs> and then three papers later, oh no, it's not. It's called procrastination. need a little something down that side and that's not long enough. Okay, some music. And this is just some that I printed. Oh, I don't know if I want to tear that one. need to put it in the same place every time. That would be helpful. That one's a little bit blurry. This is just some really old sheet music that I copied onto parchment paper. Because I don't want to get rid of it. <laughs> right right up onto that if you wanted. Okay, so I'll do those for a second and we'll ink around that and stitch around it and put a little lace up the top, but I think that's kind of cool. I mean, you're not seeing anything super exciting through there, but I just like the fact that it's see-through. It's just kind of fun.
And this will be my design team project for Medieval Mirage for April. Because my last journal, I mean, I used her stuff, but I didn't use a ton of it. So I'm going to go ahead and make this my design team project. Yeah, I like that. Looks cool. All right, so that is a one page thing. And then with that other piece that we we're using. Let's find another page. And this is, like I said, as far as I've gotten with that. Oh, there's a... So I think I have this further in. Was it here? I don't remember. And I'll end up reordering them and all kinds of stuff just as I go. And I'll stitch that as well. So I need to find another page. But, oh, I know what I was thinking I wanted to do with these. Um, you could write there, but I, I just kind of want to decorate them. Mm -hmm. Just this part on the mm -hmm. other side now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hold on just a minute. Okay, hi, sorry about that. I, I had to answer that because it was our dentist and my daughter's got a swollen jaw <laughs> now, along with her cough. <laughs> and... Um, I think her wisdom teeth are coming in or something. I don't know, but the swelling is what's making me nervous. If she just was having a little bit of pain, it wouldn't be that much of an emergency, but the swelling makes me think that something's going on. So anyway, I'm gonna have to. Take her in to get that fixed. She's having a heck of a time. I mean, she's basically fine. She just has that lingering thing, and then now this. That would look good behind that. And another piece. What do I do with it? Hmm. My goodness. Don't know. So let's see if we use a piece of that that I know we already used. Will that look weird? I had another piece of paper that I had pulled out that would be possible to use, but what I really need is a little more blues and things. That's another thing that's hard for me to find is just because I don't use a ton of blue, but um, I could use a piece of this. Yeah, I kind of like that. I did print on the back of this one. This is going to be a page. I guess I can do maybe try to do another one. Just the whole printer thing. It's driving me crazy. I love that printer. I don't want to get a different one because um, of all the ink that it holds. But if the print heads go bad in two years, that's just kind of ridiculous. And I do use it a lot, but I don't use it, I mean, you know, we all kind of use them a lot, so. I'm sure there's people that use theirs a lot more. <laughs> There are little red flowers in there, but I think the purple will look pretty, especially with this page right here. I just think it looks... Just needs something to break it up because it's got the gold and the gold, you know, it's just, that's a lot. I could use some of this, like... I got this off of Amazon, and it's just like a organza, I guess. I don't know what you would call it. I 
could do some kind of ruffle with that maybe, or just a smaller piece of it, like half of that. That would probably be better. But anyway, it comes um, like three rolls. I'll try to remember to link it and different colors too. It's not just the purple. So it's kind of nice to have it because it's so, you know, like flowy or whatever you'd want to call it. I don't know if you can rip it. Probably not. No. Just pull, just doesn't pull very well. Because I think it might have a little stretch in it or something. And I can't cut for beans. It'd help if I use big scissors, huh? Whoopsie. The only problem is you're going to be able to see the glue, but hopefully I'll be covering some of that anyway. Oh, let me stitch it too. It's long enough, of course. smaller oh come on doesn't like to glue yeah I think I'll have to stitch that so let me do that and I'll be right back because it's just kind of a mess like this okay hi I'm back so I stitched right down there. That just works much better. <laughs> Try to glue it, but that just doesn't work very well. Okay, so let's glue this on and then I will set you guys free. I don't think we quite had an hour and I apologize for all the stop and starts. As usual, things just go on. guys noticed yesterday when I did my video and I um, glued that piece of ledger onto the back of the little Easter card <laughs> upside down. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am such a ding dong. So then all that fuss over the number on there and I ended up having to cover it up with some music paper because I glued it upside down. Uh, all right, so I think that looks pretty good that one back in here. It's right here. I'm not sure, but we'll work on that. And then, oh yeah, we wanted to do that other one. Let's put that down somewhere. This side, so that maybe it might look good like on here. Let's see. That. Yeah, she would be pretty on there. Yeah, let's do that real quick, and then I'll let you go. So this Baroque Beauties, both of the add-ons for it have just some amazingly beautiful pieces. So definitely check those out. And if you're doing a traveler's notebook, I would definitely get the whole thing because the pages are gorgeous. 
And I don't think, you know, any of it goes bad together. Like I said, her kits all kind of go well together. Like you can use parts because there's so many parts in them and different types of papers and things. As I've said before, you really can't go wrong with any of it, but. And I'll worry about a journaling card to go inside of here, but for now, let's just get this in its little spot. Okay, I already inked that, so I'm gonna put it right on the back of this. And these are like little, you know, belly band type things. Put the lid back on here before I forget. Oh, don't drip on there. One thing keeping that upside down, it definitely is fast to come out. Is it that way or this way? It's hard to tell with the, I'm looking at the little images on there. And I'm just going to kind of go, you know, it's not in the middle, it's a little lower, but so the pocket will sort of be, or that envelope will be sort of in the middle. Just kind of stretching it out a little so that that's nice and taut. And that's something else entirely. I hope it fits in here blue. Oh yeah, it does. Perfect. You can leave it so you can see her face. <laughs> I really like that, just that little bit of lace just to see through right there is kind of fun. So make sure those are down really good. They should be that our glitter glow sticks really well. So, all right. So I'm going to stop there today. I hope you guys, um, are all safe and well and uh, faring through this okay. <laughs> I'm going to stick this one in here too, I think. So I will chat at you again tomorrow and thank you so much for watching my channel. I so appreciate you guys. You're amazing and just have a nice evening with your family. Talk later. Bye-bye now.